Hello and welcome back. This is part 25 in the last part of the Making of Ashenane series. Making this cosplay from World of Warcraft. Super excited. So I am painting these daggers. So I did four, no sorry, three coats of plastic up, which you can see on that side. And then the other side, I did three coats of a metallic brown spray paint. So after that, give it plenty of time to dry. I went in with acrylics. Now I used cheap acrylics here from Walmart and that was a big mistake. I had to keep layering the paint one and that's why it took eight hours to paint one dagger. They were twin daggers. So uh, if I went back, I would get better quality paint. But at this point, I had two days to get these done before the convention. And actually I finished these the morning of the convention, the same day I had to compete. So it was quite stressful, but I got them done. Um, but yeah, I would definitely have used not paint from Walmart, a better brand. But I started with my darker turquoise color and I decided to use this first for all of my crystal pieces on here. Um, I felt like that would be best. I had a lighter aqua color to use as a highlight and for accents on the crystal pieces. Um, I'm using a dark brown at the moment, very dark brown mixed with a good bit of black to paint the inside of his little runes for the fangs. I dropped my camera. Um, and then I use some creams and browns and such to paint the fang, which is what I'm doing right now. It's a very sped up video. I think it's like times 12 or something like that. It's very quick. Um, and I adjust the camera as I go. And you have some little Felina head down there though at this angle. You can see your little ears being real cute sunbathing. Um, but yeah, so I started with that the crystal pieces, then I went and did the tooth pieces, and then I went in last with the gold pieces. Since those are the pieces that kind of stand up and out and away from things, I thought that would be best. And then after that, I went in with all the little detail bits, so. Um, but I did do all the little details for the fang piece first, because I was very iffy on how this was going to go. Um, as I said before, my brain on the tooth kind of got washed out with all the layers of plastic dip and such, so I had to kind of fake it a bit with various shades of brown and whatnot creams and all that so it ended up working pretty good I got a lot of compliments on how it looked so um, I'm very picky <laughs> and I thought it wasn't good enough but everyone else did um, and apparently I missed painting gold on that there should have been a video piece of the gold but we missed that I guess but here it is the gold painted on there it's metallic gold and the light blue on the little accents around. I really thought I recorded that, but I cannot find it now. I don't know what happened. I know I was having issues with my phone around that same time, so maybe that's what happened. But I just cut the, I made my own pattern for these little faux leather pieces going off my little screenshot there. And I took the same metallic gold I used for the foam and I painted freehand around the edges. And here I'm just going around with each piece and layering them on following my little guide over here with some hot glue. To attach them, I did make the mistake of, tr well, I made a few mistakes when it came to the clear coat. Um, I didn't like how my matte looked with it because everything else uses matte varnish. And since I didn't have time, since at this point the convention was tomorrow, um, I went to Walmart and got a gloss clear coat in the spray paint section and it would not cure. The conditions were fine. It should have cured. It stayed sticky for like a week. So it was sticky at the convention. It was awful. Um, but especially on that faux leather, it was so sticky. It, it wasn't great, but it worked. It looked good. It protected the paint, so. But yeah, because don't buy things from Walmart, is what basically I've learned with these. Um, but I did think it looked, looked pretty cool, and I kind of layered these a little differently from a screenshot just to kind of hide mistakes at this point, too. Um, making sure that I hid seams and whatnot. So here you can see a progress shot, because I think at this point I realized my... A video got deleted of the gold. But this is one finished. Um, I thought they looked really cool. I'm sorry this video isn't very informative. If you do want to know anything about how I painted any sort of things or want me to do an example, I'm totally happy with doing that. As I said, I was con crunching majorly and then also I was having problems with recording. Um, but yeah, if you guys need to see how to do any of this painting wise, I think I did the actual film work construction bit video in the last video very well. So, I mean, of course, anytime if something's not very clear, you can always ask me about it and I'm happy to help. But yeah, I'm super happy with how the daggers turned out, even though they were a nightmare at the end. And they were all the costume. It was great. I loved it. I did win best armor in the fashion show on Friday night. Super exciting. Um, but yeah. 
So this is how it looks. This is Ashamane, my humanoid version of the panther wild god from World of Warcraft. So, yeah. And also, I wore this in a convention in mid-August. And I was so hot in this. But I figured it would be because it is faux leather, faux fur, and flannel, and foam. It's very warm. But it was great. I loved it. Everyone loved it. It was great. And as I was saying, um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll have links to materials below. The photographers that these photos are from below. And all of that. Social media links. So thank you so much, and we'll be making another cosplay soon that won't be as many parts. And it'll be fun. This was fun too, though. See you later.